Alright, we're checking out the only game where you can truly force people to experience things worse than death. It's Forensic Masters. Anytime you see Discount Storm from the X-Men on like a gurney, and level one says fit the body, that's when you know you have a fantastic game on your hands. Tell me it's full ragdoll f- Oh yes! Fit the body, eh? I see you've got a trash can over here. <laughs> Come on, let me, oh I can't go to the trash can! Not gonna lie, this- this girl is impressively limber. You can always tell exactly when the game is telling you to stop. Right about here. <laughs> what are you, like Mystique's lesser known niece? Yeah, this girl's like, Someone help me. I'm inside of a Greystill Place video you don't understand. Get back on the gurney. All right, now it doesn't say how we have to make you fit. So here we go, just kind of like that there. And we gotta bring the head in right like. Oh, ankle fell off. Hold on. Yeah, just put that in. Yeah, per no, hold on. Right there. There. Got it. Beautiful. Inside of the cooler. <laughs> I have to find the clues. My first clue is that they have a picture frame with no picture in it. This could also just be some sort of Windows background. Wait, what do I? <laughs> this might be a picture frame. <laughs> Oh man, they should have never hired me to process this crime scene. I'm taking too long. <laughs> I love it. Find the clues. I think I've already found one of them, but I might as well screw up the rest. Oh man. I'm so bad that I'm good. I found the gun in like three broken objects. What is this over here? I thought it was like a bunch of lotto tickets. It's like a broken vase or something. Actually, hold on. <laughs> Can I? Oh, it takes it. I wanted to see. If, oh, I see. I just, if I touch anything, it breaks. Can I put this inside of this thing? Here, you'll never find your how-to books again. All right, maybe you will. I love how it's not even chalk for the dead person outline. It's, it's raised. It looks like toaster strudel icing. Is there anything else I can screw up while I'm here? Get rid of all these comforters. Get rid of these. How about you? Can I, oh yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's open it. Might as well open up the shades. I want everyone to see exactly what's happening in here after all. <laughs> all right, I'm not allowed to mess with anything else. Oh, hold on. All right, since I couldn't put the books inside of the... There, no one gets these books. And there's the glove. Level complete. Do her makeup. I mean, she's not really looking so good. I'm so close to being able to poke her in the eye with this thing. How much makeup do I have to do? Can I like fix her jaw? Yeah, just powder and powder that right there. Beautiful. This this is truly horrifying. I don't think I made that. Find the fingerprints. I'm more concerned rather than finding the fingerprints about why I have a beaker full of like raspberry jam just chilling out in the background. You know, one of the best places to get fingerprints is, uh, it's on the trigger. Not so much the trigger guard. You should be indexing up here. Oh, whatever. Was that, was that a thumb down here? Who's shooting this gun, Shaq? Look at the size of the fingerprints. Find the wound. Why are the wounded on a police lineup? I think I found the wound. Guilty. I don't know if she's so much guilty as she's going to die of sepsis. What, how? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let, yeah, turn all the way around. All right, let me see. Uh, all right, let me see your armpit. She could be wounded. I don't know, though. All right, madam, I hate to say it, but we're arresting everyone who defended themselves against Kodiak bear attacks. You're guilty. Put them to their final rest. Like, put them all in the same coffin? Are we trying to save money? Is this... Can I... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. See, she's a little undercooked. <laughs> God. She's a little undercooked. Whoa! It wouldn't even let me put her on top of the flames. It was just like, stop that. All right, how about, how about, hold on, let me. <laughs> that! <laughs> Imagine paying all this money to a mortician and really all he does is just yeet your loved one into a coffin. Here, watch this, ready? Down by two, there's the kick, and it's good! <laughs> Collect samples. Does this girl have like geodes growing inside of her? What is this? This girl is dead. How come her uvula is undulating? I'm serious, it's like a living piece of Laffy Taffy. It's like hula hooping, stop it. Hold on, stop, 
stop it. I love how even in death you get tested for gingivitis. All right, yeah, let's grab the samples up here. Nasal samples as well. Really want to scrub it. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, yeah, let's grab these samples, put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and there you go. Find the real criminal. This is the, this is the drawing that we have. Who did this criminal recreation, me? I'm serious. If you've ever seen my stick figures, this is typically what we're dealing with. I assume this is hair. I don't know. This, this man could have also been attacked by a Sharpie. What else we got? Oh, you look strikingly like the accused. You wouldn't happen to have a pair of sunglasses on you, would you? All right, who else we got? Oh. What are you two, what are you two like a, identical twins? What is this? So... <laughs> I mean, what if I pick her, I'm like 80% right, right? Like, what does it matter? Mm. Made a wrong person. I'm the one who decides. What is this? Get the DNA evidence. What is, what is this DNA evidence? What was she doing? Was she like changing the float inside of a toilet? All right, here, let me get the DNA evidence here. I feel like I'm gonna get tetanus doing this. There's a lot of DNA in here. All right, now we go ahead and hose this down with some grape Fanta. There we go. And we get a nice reaction here. There it is. Yeah, beautiful. I feel like pretty soon I'm going to end up catching the entire table on fire. What am I doing? <laughs> Complete the outline. So, I actually can't screw this up. I'm not really completing anything. Also, are these are these shell casings? At first I thought maybe she got stabbed to death with lip gloss or something. I really don't know. Ah, yes. The autopsy report. Right, so what we have to do... I actually don't know what we're doing. Why am I putting an outline on this lady? All right, let's take a picture there. Put the old signature in. Oh yeah, there we go. And whoop, lovely. Find the evidence. Oh God, we're using black lights. Get ready, there's gonna be so much DNA here. It's gonna be like a sweet rave party. See that? DNA hit by a rubber duck. Why is this evidence? Also, how do we know it's the least probable cause of death? Could have been like a really violent rubber duck. All right, nothing on the arm here. Moving up to the neck. Ah, yes. Strangled by a stray cat. <laughs> the most probable cause of death. <laughs> These are my two options. This game is blowing my mind. What are you, hoarding all the toilet paper? Oh, to be fair, I keep my knives behind the toilet paper too. Look at this, we gotta bust up this piece of tile here. The glove. All right, and then inside here, there's nothing. So I'm gonna help clean up the place a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and good luck finding your toilet paper. Tell me I can lift the toilet seat. Fantastic, yes! Good. And right, how much stuff can you fit inside of your toilet bowl here? Yeah, all that. Beautiful. Yep. Keep it going. Oh, nope, getting a little tough here. There we go. Yep, one more. Come on, baby. I'm not giving up on this. You don't seem to know about how much tenacity I have for stupid, pointless th There it is. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, grab the knife. Open up the curtain. Is that... What is the point of having the clock behind the curtain? Here. You're not used in it anyway. Get all the stuff out of here. There, your one piece of toilet paper inside the garbage. What am I missing? Oh, rubber duck. The same rubber duck that ended up killing that lady. Where is the rubber duck at? Did I throw it away? I have a tendency to lose a lot of things. You know, by breaking everything I touch. Oh, I know. You gotta watch. Watch this. Ready? Is the rubber duck gonna rise up? Eh? With water? No? I gotta clog this up? Oh, hold on. How about if I... <sighs> I feel like I shouldn't have thrown everything away. Oh, Pfft. right next to the toothbrush that you're clearly not using. Found the duck. Sorry I screwed up your entire bathroom in order to do it. Throw caskets into the fire. Am I just going to yeet the caskets? I'm just going to yeet them, aren't I? Yeah. Hope you got your money's worth. Yeetly deet. Incineration is cheap. Speaking of yeedly deet, did you know that you too can yeedly deet yourself over at the graystoveplace.store? A wonderful website where you can buy things that'll make people question your fashion sense beyond all rational thought. Or I mean, you could also just get a coffee mug and pour your Bud Light in it like a savage. This is really strange. Um, I'm pretty sure both these people were in my office. Remember the drawing where I had to decide who was who is guilty. So strange that they're both dead now. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for clues. How come a rubber duck is always one of the clues? What kind of room is this? All right, we're getting somewhere now. From the rubber duck to the knife, someone knocked over the plant. 
kind of sick heathen would knock over the plant? I know there's supposed to be a body around here somewhere. It's not a body, it's an outline. Fix the corrupt video, okay? What am I, what am I looking at here? What is happening? What is this? What? I, this guy Alec Baldwin, this lady? I like how she's not even awake for her, for her big movie break over here. She's like, God, I wish I was home sleeping. This dude's like, I can oblige. Arr! All right, so how do we, how do we fix this video here? All right, so right here. Oh, by fix the video, I have to control his body. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I can control everything. Do you know what that means? It's time for some calisthenics. <laughs> All right, now if I get her to twist a hundred, actually 360 degrees. Oh yeah. Oh, this is some poltergeist level stuff right here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, hand right there. All the way around. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I love how this is fixing the corrupt video. Got to see the whole the whole footage here, and I I have to say I was not impressed. Interrogate the suspect. Where were you the night your husband was murdered? I was home. How come our lie detector looks like a radio from 1942? Does the red light mean that she's lying? Now let's let's give it a shot. Do you have a witness? I was with someone else. I feel like we're going to have to swim through the ocean of lies in order to get to the island of truth. Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Oh, she's actually telling the truth. So I guess you just murdered your husband because you were bored. Did you kill your husband for his life insurance money? I didn't even know he had that kind of money. Okay, this was supposed to end up being incredibly cliche, but it's not. Did you even kill anyone? Am I just wasting my time? I feel like I'm just wasting my time. Did she kill him? Can I click yes and send her to prison anyway? <laughs> eh, why not? <laughs> yeah, cry yourself to sleep. Text to murderer. I love how we just have the murderer saved as murderer in our phone. I know you killed her. LM, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you must not know. I got Jason Voorhees on speed dial. These are my options. Why did you do it? You're gonna regret this. I would like something stupider considering this was his response to me. I feel like I should have some sauce back. I guess you're gonna regret it. If you can find me, sleep with one eye open. Wait for me, you little rat. I'm not a detective, I'm like a mob boss. I'm gonna bust your kneecaps, Jason. You better sleep with one eye open, son. I'm gonna go murder more people now, bye. <laughs> Wow, normally I joke about being the worst detective in the universe in these games, but uh, I legitimately got to be the worst detective ever in the universe. To be fair, the murderer is the worst murderer I think I've ever seen. Bye. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoy this episode of Forensic Masters. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.